Hello, in this video, we're going to take a more careful look at the assignments and the feedback that students receive in the Buzz Learning Management System. As I've mentioned in previous videos, Buzz is what we're using uh, for students to work asynchronously and independently in Cooley Region Virtual Academy. Uh, depending on which students you are supporting as a teaching assistant, uh, you may have students who are working in Buzz and in Canvas. Uh, students in CRVA have their electives in Canvas and their core academics in Buzz. When students log into Buzz, they go right to the dashboard. Uh, if students are having trouble logging into Buzz, please take a look at the other video about solving login issues. When students log in successfully, they can see the courses that they're enrolled in and their progress along the way. That's a great opportunity to celebrate progress, but it, it won't give you a whole lot of specifics about what the next steps for the student are. You can select Gradebook from the course menu on the left. And again, that will give you a slightly more detailed overview of the student's progress and their current average grade in the course, the number of assignments that they have completed and when the course is scheduled to end. Having a conversation with a student about grades and assignments and feedback and progress is challenging under most circumstances. And in virtual learning, it can be even more challenging. But don't be afraid to ask a student to participate through a Zoom call and share their screen with you as they log into Buzz. Have them open the gradebook tab. And if you need more detail about successful assignments, challenging assignments, and upcoming assignments, they can click on and open each individual course and look more specifically. Most of the courses that we are teaching in Cooley Region Virtual Academy are set up to be continuous courses. That means that as soon as students take the Module 1 pre-assessment, Buzz will look at how successful they were and the areas where they may need to develop and set out a series of target dates for upcoming assignments. Those target dates may shift depending on a student's participation, their success with assignments, and on decisions that the instructor makes to open or close future modules in the Buzz course. The target dates can be a great motivator for students who are working at or ahead of pace, but for students who may need more accommodation or modification, the target dates can be frustrating and disheartening. You can see on the screen that each of the assignments listed in pink was completed after the target date. Now, that doesn't detract from the student's score. There are no points lost for completing things after the target date. But in terms of fostering a sense of success for the student, it can be disheartening to feel like you're getting good scores, but everything that you turn in is behind pace. Some instructors have chosen to turn off target dates for that reason. This is a picture of the same grade book, but with target dates turned off. So you can see the scores, the places where a student has been successful, where they may need to try again, the assignments that haven't been completed yet, but without that layer of feedback about students being on target. If you're going to work with a student in a course that is not set up to be continuous, but has assigned due dates, it's important to have those assigned due dates clearly communicated and easy to access. A couple more things while we're on this page. 
You'll notice that scores above 70% are listed in green. That's because in this math course, the instructor has chosen 70% as the passing mark. Anything below 70% will show up in red and signal to the student that they need to try again. In a course that's not continuous, the pacing guide created by the teacher will be an essential part of the conversation with a student so that you and the student knows when assignments should be completed and turned in. This year, CRVA has their independent learning day for catch-up, for extra help, for completing work on Fridays. And so many of the target due dates are set for Fridays. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.